All right, fellas, we're doing the uh, crank seal, water pump, and timing belt on a 1998 1UZ FE with VVTI LS400. And uh, a lot of people on the internet, I'm going to say 95% of people, they don't know how to line up the timing marks before they time up, take off the timing belt, and you're going to run into some problems, and you're probably going to destroy your motor. So... I'm going to point out how to do it for you guys. Right here, on your timing belt, you got this is top dead center. Well, that's not where you line it up when you're taking the timing belt off, okay? That's where you uh, line it back up when you're done. You line up the crank to zero on the timing cover marks, and you t line up this T marks, this little gouge. This gouge will line up with that when you're done. But when you take the timing belt off, you line it up with the T. You see that mark lines up with that T. That mark lines up with that T. Okay, this is the right hand side, right? It's opposite, right, left. And leave it alone. Then uh, you take off, here's your belt pin here. Right here. You got a bolt here and a bolt here. To take the belt off, you loosen this one and this one back and forth until it comes off. Then you undo this with the Allen key, and then you can take the belt off. Reassemble, turn it over by hand, take out the spark plugs. See, I got all the spark plugs out. That way it doesn't build compression. You can turn the engine over. Turn it by hand a few times. Make sure nothing's bound up, and then line up your this little gouge mark with the top dead center. Line this side up, top dead center. And then your... Uh, little dot on your uh, pulley, your crank pulley, you got that white mark will line up with the zero on your, on your uh, timing cover. And that's how you keep everything in time, that way you're not looking like a jackass spending all this time on the vehicle and not doing it right. So, again, everyone else does it wrong. Everyone else, they take the timing belt off, they'll line it up here, and they'll line it up here. That's not right. You're going to be off like one, two, three, three or four teeth. So anyways, y'all take it easy. And, oh, yeah, to take off the, uh, the crank pulley, what I use, you can use a crank pulley puller, but they're kind of big. And there's not enough room, much room to work. So what I use is this steering wheel puller. All right, these two bolts, this block. See all the adjustment you have, and it works perfectly. So get you one of these little puller kits. I think like 30 bucks, Harbor Freight. But yeah, y'all take it easy, and uh, I'll give you any more updates on. Uh, I run into anything that I think that needs to be addressed. Take it easy.